you have any clue what is happening behind your back? This person is doing all of this behind your back. You wanna know what they're doing? Two things, two things for sure. Watch this video because I'm gonna explain all. Hello my friends and welcome back. I hope that you're all doing really well. I really do. So, do you know what is going on behind your back? But do you wanna know what they are doing? And it's not just the fact that they are either with a new supply, looking for supply. Now this goes much deeper. It's not just that, because we know that's what they're doing. But this is exactly what I'm gonna be talking about in the video. But it's not the fact that like you care, you care, but you don't care, but it's trying to understand what is going on so that it can help you to maneuver your way forward or understand what's going on or be able for you to make the next decision or healthy decision for you. And it's not like you care. I know it's not like you're focusing on it, but it's just, of course, you wanna know, like it's human curiosity. You wanna know what they are doing behind your back. And it's not just cheating. That can I, I just want to make that clear. It's not just the cheating. This isn't a video about that. There is more to this. But my friends, just quickly, I want to mention that I do go live on this channel once a week, every Tuesday. And if you've got a question, or there's something that you want to know, and I would say come on over. It's absolutely free. Come and say hi. We've got a really lovely supportive community that's that's there alongside you know the live chat that's going on. It's a vibe, my friends. It's an absolute vibe. I'd love to see you there. Come on over and we and, and watch like we discuss a whole variety of topics on this live. So yeah, I'd love to see you there. What are they doing behind your back? What are they doing that you don't know? And it's not just the cheating. Okay, because for some of you, not all narcissists cheat. I just want to put that out there. Not all of them cheat. But the vast majority of them do and you know guys you know what it's for it's all about feeling important feeling valued getting you know someone's undivided attention and also it's the thrill it's the thrill of feeling wanted so there is that aspect of it there is that aspect of it completely but then there's another part of it okay there's another part of it that i just want to make really clear in this video and this, what I'm talking about, is that they are actually going to be watching you, stalking you, studying you. Yes, my friends, when you are not around, whether you are in this dynamic with them or not, or whether you are out of it, all right, they're going to be watching. They're going to be studying you because they need to know or they need to anticipate their next move. They need to plan their next move. And this does apply to those of you that are not with the narcissist at this moment. And yes, the narcissist will be watching because it's almost as though they want to mold themselves into you. They want to mirror you. They want to know how could they can get your supply? How, what, how do you tick? What do you do? They are always watching. Right at the beginning, okay, right at the beginning of this relationship, this is exactly what they would have been doing. They would have been watching, they would have been studying you to get you to fall in love with them, to get you to fall in love. So this is where this part of it would have been, would have been really important to them so they got this absolutely right. So they secure you. Then as time has gone on, they kind of chilled a bit. They kind of chilled. But especially when it comes to the end or when they're not with you, they will watch you to be able to trigger you, to be able to be nasty, to also compare themselves to you. If you're doing better and if how you are getting on with your life. So there's this kind of competition that exists. It's very egotistical. And a lot of us do get drawn into this sometimes. Some of us do get drawn into it. And it's where the two egos clash. We go head to head with ego. And the only thing is, 
is that it triggers you in the end. So the narcissist will be watching because they want to know what you're doing, where you are in all of this. Now, some of us um, make it a lot easier for the narcissist to be able to watch us, to be able to gather this information on us simply because of our social media. I always say, if you can, turn it on to private. But like in my case, I'm not able to. It has to... Do you know what I mean? Like, you have to be careful what you post out there, what information you kind of get out there, what they know about you. Because look, there's also going to be people that you and they know, and yeah, they're just going to be gathering information on you. And the more information, the more access they have to you, it's almost that they feel like they still own you, they still own a little part of you. And if I'm going to look at this on an energetic um, kind of aspect, them watching you, them gathering information about you, they're still drawing your energy, which in which case will keep you stuck in this dynamic. Because remember, I've always said this in my lives or in other videos, when someone is thinking of you, they are drawing your energy in. When you are thinking of them, you are drawing their energy towards you. So it's a two way dynamic which some of you might feel like, oh yeah, like they've been popping in, in my head, like I haven't seen them for months or for years, but they still keep popping into my head. This is why. This is why. And I feel like a lot of people don't talk about this or don't understand the dynamic of why this person is still on your mind, why you're not able to move forward. It's because they're watching you. They're watching, they're gathering information on you. This serves them really well because look, they want to know what you are doing in your life. Not like maybe they even want to affect it. Maybe they don't even want to come into your life. But at some point, they want to know like if they can get you back or they can maybe get some attention off you. Maybe they can trigger you. For them, it's about the qu it's quantity, not quality. It's like how many people they've got around them. So when they are watching you, when they are learning about you, this makes them feel powerful. And also it's quite a creepy behavior because if you know what someone else is doing, then you've got that advantage. That's how they feel. Now, if you find yourself in this dynamic, what you, what you have to do to protect yourself is every time this person pops into your head, you have to be able to distract yourself know that what is happening here is energy siphoning. So you have to almost distract yourself, not think about it, because when you start thinking, and I know this is really difficult, but it's about distracting, it's about maybe putting some music on, maybe you start journaling, maybe you go for a walk, maybe you do something physical, just for a certain amount of time, because this person is drawing that energy from you, is drawing your attention subconsciously, okay, from you. And every time you think about it, every time you go down that spiral of thinking about them, why this happened, why that happened, does it ever leave you feeling positive? No, you're always feeling drained. You're always feeling tired. That's why this happens. So in order to protect yourself, all right, you have, have make a list, make a list, my friends, make a list of the things that make you feel good and keep engaging in them, keep doing this. And this will happen you know, at certain points in your life, I'm not saying that this is always going to be like this, but you see, they have a target and they are literally hyper-focused on that person. So it might be that, you know, for a couple of weeks or for a week or for a month, they are literally focusing on you. Now I know, do you know, I, I was even, I remember on my live and one of the, one of the people that were on the live was saying to me, like, literally, I haven't, sp I've got no contact. I haven't spoken to this person for four years, four years. And she just contacts me out of the blue. And he said, do you know what? I felt her thinking about me before she even contacted me. And th this is it. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is just one scenario, all right? And so in this case, she, uh, she was thinking about him, drawing his energy, which caused him to think about her, her being the narcissist. So this is what I'm saying. Know what is going on. Protect yourself. Maybe there's a mantra. Maybe there's an affirmation. Maybe there's a song. Something that you can put on or you associate with that that makes you feel strong, makes you feel powerful. Because all of this, my friends, all of this healing, all of this under, like moving through this, this is about 
gaining power, gaining or regaining your own power. This isn't about you staying weak, staying stuck, staying vulnerable, so that this person can, can cycle back around and try and get more from you. You need to be able to protect yourself. Look, you've come to this point where you realize this person is poisonous. It's not good for you. They are negative. And this person will keep coming back into your life, not because they love you, not because you were their everything, which is probably what they will tell you, but because this person can get something from you. Transactional love. That's what this is. And you have to realize that this person isn't about making this relationship grow. It's about getting what they can from you. So if you are going to be like a battery that keeps supplying this toxic person, and they're gonna be in your life for a really long time and it's gonna keep you stuck and prevent you from moving forward. So be smart. Think about this differently. I know that it feels awful. I know that a lot of you might even be feeling lonely. It might even be triggering childhood wounds of abandonment and you feeling not good enough. But none of that is true. Again, ego processes. Remember, if you are gonna allow this person to come in and all they're gonna do is trigger you, how is that gonna make you feel better? This is about you leveling up, seeing this for what it is. Protect yourself. Don't allow people, situations and things like this affect you negatively. This is your life. This is your life, the one and only, okay? So this is about you making it the best one possible. Do this and it will really help you to regain your power. Watch this video also if, if you wanna know more. This will really help you to understand this in a completely different way. And guys, please know that I do offer one-to-one -one consultations. If you are going through something like this, contact me, okay? Details are in the description box. Also, mentorship and journal club, if you're interested, see the description box. Guys, I have a community of really wonderful, like-minded individuals. And if you want someone to talk to, someone to connect with, join the Discord community. Link is in the description box. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.